more delays. While in space, Boeing Starliner's series of delays in return has no sign of ending. On the ground, SpaceX Falcon 9 just scrubbed its lift off. Three, two, one. Ignition. Abort. Yeah, abort. Most notably, it's a rare incident during 14 years of operation of the workhorse rocket, causing the vehicle held down for about one week. So, what happened? Is its reliability a concern? And what's next? On June 14th afternoon, when Falcon 9 was about to launch 22 Starlink internet satellites from Florida as usual, a rare incident occurred, a last-second abort. The launch of the Starlink 10-2 mission was initially scheduled for June 12th, and then again on June 13th. However, both were rescheduled due to weather. The takeoff was then pushed to the day of 14 around 5.07 p.m., but was aborted during the countdown. SpaceX said additional opportunities are available on June 15, starting at 4.07 p.m., but on the same day, Kiko Donchev, SpaceX's vice president, announced that the launch would be delayed indefinitely. Tough week dealing with production challenges and then a rare scrub at engine startup yesterday on 10.2. Unfortunately, there is a real issue, so we need to go inspect the hardware in detail on this vehicle. Rocket will get set to the side and will pivot to SES as the rocket and payload are ready to rock. Painful, but safety and reliability are the priority. This will be the first week we've gone without a Falcon launch in a long time. Unplanned downtime due to weather or unexpected issues happens. It's how we respond that matters. The launch business takes grit and when things go wrong, our true form comes to life. Although SpaceX has not officially yet said what caused to scrub, as we can see, the hold at the engine startup shows the problem might be in the engine area. But along with pivoting to the SES launch, it sounds like it's an issue that doesn't affect the rest of the fleet. It was a common occurrence in Falcon 9's early days, but much less popular nowadays. The most recent instance of a Falcon 9 aborting a mission at the moment of engine ignition was four years ago, back on October 3, 2020, when SpaceX was attempting to launch a GPS satellite. By then, Elon Musk tweeted that the Falcon 9 launch was aborted after an unexpected pressure rise in the turbo machinery gas generator, referring to equipment used on the rocket's Merlin main engines. Of course, we have no idea whether SpaceX repeated the same mistake four years ago. Thus, we have to wait for the final conclusion from the company. Anyway, compared to other launch vehicles that often encounter many delays and problems, SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket is still considered very reliable. At least, the cancellation of a launch due to a glitch demonstrates SpaceX's priority in terms of safety and reliability rather than profits and reputation. Unlike others who ignored basic safety warnings to launch a spacecraft with a helium leak on June 5th, over 14 years, rockets from the Falcon 9 family have been launched 354 times, resulting in 352 successes, meaning its success rate still reaches a high of 99.44%, one in-flight failure, SpaceX CRS-7, and one partial success, SpaceX CRS-1 delivered its cargo to the International Space Station, but a secondary payload was stranded in a lower-than-planned orbit. The Starlink 10-2 mission will be the 61st Falcon 9 flight, which will tie the total number of orbital launches it achieved in all of 2022. The mission will mark the sixth launch of the month and the 63rd launch in total for the company in 2024. Additionally, there are many other milestones such as Falcon 9's 345th orbital flight. SpaceX's 192nd launch from SLC-40, 84th landing on just read the instructions out of 85 attempts, 245th successful landing since the last failed one, and 174th launch dedicated to Starlink overall. Its boosters also multiple times scored a point in the fans' heart in the reusability. Assuming SpaceX doesn't shift its launch calendar order following this scrub, the booster B1 Sonda 7316, one of the current Falcon 9 fleet leaders, will reach her 16th time flight. In addition to B1073-16, SpaceX also has B1058, which set a record-setting 19th flight prior to tipping over due to high winds and waves in last year. Furthermore, on Cosmonautics Day or April 12th, SpaceX launched its first-ever Cosmonautics Day mission and a record-setting Falcon 9 B-1062, B-1062, 
became the first booster to reach a life-leading 20th flight, with boosters initially certified by SpaceX only for 15 missions. The achievements on the booster recently have shown the company's great efforts in pushing their vehicle's reusable capability to the limitation. Similarly, they are also looking to extend the lifespan of the Crew Dragon spacecraft from 5 to 15 flights. Given such impressive milestones, it would not be hard to understand why SpaceX can grow to 87% of the world's tonnage to orbit, a new high in the first quarter of 2024. The graph uses a magnifying projection to even see the other domestic launch providers. The five Chinese launchers combined lofted 13.6x less than SpaceX. Europe was zero. Until later this year, SpaceX might exceed 90% of all Earth payloads to orbit. Once Starship is launching at a high rate, probably over 99%. This is a confirmation of SpaceX CEO Elon Musk through his tweet on May 21st. Musk's favorite hobby is humor and his memes, so he did not forget to hint at the Chinese's incompetence in catching up with SpaceX, even though they imitated SpaceX's prototypes a lot. We file almost no patents, so nothing stopping competition from copying us. It does no doubt that Elon likes competition, which explains why he comfortably welcomes the media. That keeps him on his toes and liking ahead. To be honest, the space race was and is a healthy competition that will get us to where we want to be quickly. It's how NASA got where they were. We competed against Russia and started off behind them for the first few years. We were amazed at Russian progress and also motivated to exceed their progress. The only thing that is holding us back is the government interference. If that is removed, it's on. Here we go again. Buckle up and watch the progress come out of healthy competition. It will be exciting. Motivation is a key component of progress and success. Last but not least, by definition, if you copy, you can never lead. This explains why while SpaceX is soaring ahead, China is being left in the dust. How about you? Do you think Musk's views on competition are correct? Let me know in the comments. Anyway, if you find this useful, please give us a share, like, and subscribe. Your support will be a huge motivation for us to release more quality videos in the future. And now let's come back. So, what's next after Falcon 9 scrub? Elsewhere, a pair of other missions would resume flight operations, with launches targeted less than six hours apart on June 18th. First up, an eight times used booster is tasked with deploying the heavyweight Astra 1P payload, SpaceX's first launch of a member of the Astra satellite family, for Luxembourg based SES, from Storied Space Launch Complex, SLC 40, at Florida's Cape Canaveral Space Force Station a 49-minute window that opens at 5.35 p.m. EDT. Nevertheless, its launch date was scrubbed due to poor weather. Next, a four-times-flown booster raised from Space Launch Complex, SLC-4E, at Vandenberg during an expansive raft of T-Zero opportunities extending from 8 p.m. through midnight PDT. This marked the 20th orbital launch from California in 2024 so far. In case either launch meets with a delay, both have additional opportunities to fly on Wednesday evening. Fortunately, only the Astra mission got cancelled. However, Astra 1P's weather outlook appears dicey, according to the 45th Weather Squadron at Patrick Space Force Base. Chances are 70% of weather violations for a Falcon 9 SES-24 launch. After a 24-hour delay, there is a 60% chance of launch constraints due to a moisture increase with showers. This worsens the likelihood of a launch attempt as safe conditions become less favorable. And that just about wraps it up for today's episode. Thank you, and we look forward to seeing you next time.